Welcome to Adam Sam Radio. Today we're going to try to try to diagnose or try to fix this uh, TS450S. Uh, it's blown. I think a voltage regulator and all that. We're going to address it. We took out the uh, the uh, the filter board, which goes on top. You remove. Well, first off, you remove. I can't find it now. There's a cover that goes over that. Remove that, and this will be exposed. You remove this. Oh, there's the cover right here. This is the cover that goes on top. Here. Remove that. And uh, make sure you remove all the connections and all that. It's on the board, as you can see. And uh, I want to say, buyer beware. I bought part of this part because maybe for the relay or the, just if this has gone bad. I bought another one just to prove a point. This is the one I got off eBay. Like the old saying goes, buyer beware. This is the eBay one. And it was missing, as you can see, right right here somebody took the static discharge tube out of there and then they burnt the, the relay here and you can clearly see that it was desoldered this is how I got it there's the hole there and the hole here for it and cleaned them up a little bit but I may not need it maybe maybe not chances are it's the PA section that blew but uh, not very happy uh, when you buy parts on eBay, uh, buyer beware. That's all I can say. Okay, enough of that's been done. That's what it looks like here. And when you take this tray off, be careful. Do not lose this plastic piece. That insulates in case there's something touched or whatever. This is where the filter board was. Okay. Well, what happened was I lost power because... I was tired, not feeling well, and I hooked it up backwards on my power supply. It did not smoke. It didn't pop. It didn't do anything. The only odor that came out of it was the back right here, right around this region right here. That's the only thing I smell. Chances are it's probably the voltage regulator's blue. So there's no power whatsoever going to it. So uh, I noticed the screen gets brighter. I looked that up. They say that they just replace all voltage regulators. So like one of them could be leaking. And uh, so this is what it looks like on the top. So, like I said, if you buy parts from eBay, make sure you ask questions and before you buy, because I got ripped off because of that uh, static just discharge tube, um, which is you know, on that board I showed you. It's that glass piece, which is this right here. person I bought the other board from he took it out and he these things must be worth money I don't know it's, you know but it was missing that and I wrote him and wrote him and wrote him and wrote him uh, a letter uh, for eBay and and I got gypped out of 40 bucks but I bought that too for a case of one of the relays are bad in case I cooked something close shut or whatever but Whatever you do, when you're tired and exhausted or not feeling well, do not hook up any electrical equipment because things could happen. My hunch is it's those dang uh, power or uh, voltage regulators. There's an 8, I think it was a 5 volt. Oh, I can't remember. I, re I was reading the schematic, but I have to look up the numbers and cross reference them all. So, this is where I'm coming up with now. Stand by. Okay, this is the uh, the PA board. Here's your uh, finals. Uh, it's uh, two SC two SC. I can't even see the numbers. I'm sure you all know what they are. Okay, it is two SC two eight seven nine. A pair of those and. Everything looks good in there. Nothing burnt. But I'm concerned about this, this, 
this and long but not least I gotta flip this thing around standby okay this is the back of the radio here's those uh, voltage regulators and I have a magnifier somewhere here to help out a little Oh man, they're hard to really see, but there's uh let me see here. There's three of them right here. And uh there's another board right here I have to look up, but I don't think it's I don't see the caps bubbled up, they look good. Uh looks like someone's been in here before. They put in brand new surge protection uh di uh resistors in there. Um, those won't go bad but uh, yeah there's three these over here I believe I could just pry it off with a screwdriver these heat sinks right here I don't think these don't need heat sink with grease but I'm gonna have to cross-reference I know one of these are five volts I think the middle one is or not I'm not sure but uh, Anyhow, hopefully that one of these popped it didn't go like this is the power going in right here Hope it didn't pop any of this stuff right here or uh, Well, like I said, there was no smoke so chances are this when the odor was coming out was coming down from the bottom here So I would assume these guys I have to do a test them. I'm gonna um, test them out on the multimeter and test this one I'm gonna test every every one of them but I have my hunch is right in here these all got to be replaced but uh, that's all like that's what I got for now so lesson learned make sure you you know you know usually if it, something goes bad even the finals would have a big blow blow mark on it or a crack I've seen it happen many many times um, the guy I acquired it from, he said it's been recapped, and I see some new caps. Or, no, actually, that's a original. Uh, we'll find out when we start tearing into this thing, but I noticed this has been replaced. Is that brand new? If it needs a cap, I will just go ahead and do it. But Anyways, uh, this is the TS440S, uh, TS440S. No, 450s. I'm sorry. And I don't know if this is a fusible link or the noise suppressor. Looks like a coil there. That goes right to the power section. And this goes up to the front of the radio for the CPU. Well, that's all we have for now. Stay tuned. Adam's, this is Adam's Ham Radio.